My name is Peter Tudhope. I'm an artist uh, living in Ayrshire. I went to three art colleges, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Manchester. My early influences were the same as everybody else. Van Gogh, Cezanne, other Renaissance artists. But I had a particular interest in Picasso for his drawing skills. Art college, my interests really spread. Looking at all different kinds of work, people like Ansem Kiefer really inspired me. I am mainly a landscape painter, although I do figurative and still life work. In April of 2018, I had an operation for a benign, large, very large tumour, uh, an acoustic neuroma tumour, which meant that I am now deaf in this ear. Um, I've got facial damage, nerve damage down my face, um, and I had to learn to walk again and get my strength back. Uh, so this summer has been a difficult one uh, for many reasons, but probably not as bad as the summer of 2018 for me. Um, but what it, what it has done is it, it started to make me uh, suddenly suddenly look at the problems that I uh, were facing. I was facing um, through the whole uh, operation in recovery and now I seem to be looking inwardly a little bit more, a bit more straightforward self-portraits in the beginning and I was drawing what I felt like instead of what I just looked like. You know, this one shows my kind of fractured feel within my face. That's all the nerve damage. Um, so that that was what I started to look at, and I started to do some little portrait paintings, just learning the colour techniques of the face, culminating in this little painting. A wee bit more about the the infrastructure of what I feel in my face bits that are missing, that where my eye is, there's a problem near the nerve. I feel the all the time in my face. The lockdown really contained people in the beginning. We were still thinking, can we go out and exercise? Can we go out even into our gardens? So I, I kind of tried to get into a bit of a routine, reading in the morning, going for a walk, trying to write some poems again, just putting words together. They help when it comes to art, as your painting and drawing as well, because you're thinking about views and your wording is descriptive in the same sort of way that your drawing and your painting might be. So I was, I was looking at even some simple things at the beginning of the lockdown. I was looking at, you know, just clothes and a clothesline and then they got a little bit more abstract. The Covid summer, I felt a bit of a pressure to produce a body of work that was going to be maybe important and I think there was a lot of artists who did that. I really didn't. Um, <laughs> I, I just I just couldn't get an idea in my head that was going to be something important. So what I started to do was set up still lives and, and paint from life. Throughout the summer, I was trying to do some little paintings of memories from being abroad. Trying to have some sunshine and some colour and take the shadows and keep them in my head and get myself through the, the depression of the, the Covid in the summer. Started to do paintings of the Ayrshire lanes and they were inspired by people like Giorgio Morandi, JD Ferguson. Another artist called Wim Ops, who I discovered just before the summer and I really love his work. 
So as time has gone on with the lockdown, I've been able to get back outside and that is a big thing, not just getting through the lockdown, but also uh, the recovery period from my operation. So I started to go down to Roselle also trying to work in bad weather again i always like to go out and work in the snow or the rain and this is a, a drawing in the rain at roselle it has been a very difficult year through this covid storm shall we say uh, but hopefully next year will be better thank you